In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to access and uh, use a, an assignment that we're going to have in our classroom uh, using Moodle and Google Drive. So first things first, let's get to Moodle and get logged into our classroom. So if you need to, go ahead and pause the video now and access Chambers Modern World History. Now that you're in Chambers Modern World History, let's scroll down to Unit 1, Renaissance and Reformation. Just a quick reminder, if this tech module survey isn't showing up, then you need to quickly open up a new tab and go over here and check to make sure that you're logged in. I'm logged into my center account, but if I were not, I would need to sign out right here and I would need to log in with my center uh, Google account, the uh, username at center.k12.mo.us. If I did have to sign in, I would simply need Pardon me. I would simply need to refresh and everything would show up that should be showing up. One other issue you may be having, if you see a red X right around here, you're probably logged in with Internet Explorer, so you need to log off of Internet Explorer and open up a Google Chrome browser and simply go back to Moodle and that should finish your problem. Now that you are ready to go, let's scroll down to the Unit 1 Lap Renaissance and Reformation and we'll go ahead and click on that. Lots of options here, and in the next day or two, all of these links are going to become live where you can click on them and start working at your own pace. For today, we're going to focus on the Prince reading activity. The first thing you need to do is open up the reading. You'll notice that when we do a lot of these, these uh, activities, I try to provide as much information as I can right in one single space. So, you have the reading here. If we click on it, it opens a new page. And here is your PDF version of the textbook. If you, let, let's say you don't have internet and you want to read this later, a great option is to save it uh, to your desktop. And so we can save it as maybe A Chambers, uh, The Prince Reading, and click Save. And then if we go over here and look at the desktop, uh, there it is, it showed up. And now I can read that anytime. Uh, even if I don't have internet access. For now, let's keep that open and go back to Moodle. The next thing you need to do is you need to view the assignment here. Click on this link. This will open up a Google Doc. Let me walk you through the instructions for this. In this green box where it says type in the text from the prints, this is going to seem a bit like a busy work, but here's the reason. I want you to type in the text from the prints for these first couple to make sure that you are really, really reading what you need to be reading. Uh, once we kind of earn each other's trust, then I'll let you loose a little bit more, and if you skim through it, that's fine. But for these first couple, I'm going to make sure you're really reading it uh, just by having you type in. So take the text in section one you see right here, and type that text from section one into this green box here. Now if you're trying to type, you're not going to be able to do it right now. Uh, and here's why. This document is sealed so that you can access it with uh, any center account, but it, you can only view it. You can't edit it. So what you need to do is click on File, and you need to click Make a Copy, and it's going to pop up Copy of the Prince Assignment. So we want to delete Copy of and name it in a particular way. Start off with your last name, Put an underscore, your first name, another underscore, and then the name of the assignment. I'll click OK. You see that's going to create a new document. This one you can print. Uh, go ahead and type in. So I'll start out, uh, a prince should make himself, and I'll continue to type that there. The next part is to type in a single summary sentence, and this is where I, I am testing your summary skills see how much work we need to do with that. So you'll do section one, turn it into a single summary sentence, move on to section two, right here, a single summary sentence right here, so on and so forth. Now one last thing, if we go back to my drive and scroll down, I'm gonna refresh my drive and a new document will have popped up. Okay, so here we are, Chambers, Alec, the print assignment. So I made a copy and it showed up in my drive. I'm going to take that, click and drag to Modern World History so that I can uh, stay nice and organized. Okay. Once you get done with this assignment, 
then you need to go back to Moodle, and there's Hi, one more Joe. link to, to click on. Desk, Please go to the security desk. Pardon the announcement there. And we're going to click here. Now, when you click here, click on Upload a File. You're going to click on Choose a File. And you're going to need to log in to your Google Docs one more time. We'll accept those terms. And that's an error popping up on my computer, but your computer should uh, go ahead, type in your Google email uh, through center, and type in your center password, and everything should sync up nice and easy there, and you can turn in Google Docs for the rest of the year. So that's the tutorial on how to access a Google Docs assignment in Moodle. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email at any time, uh, or drop by my room before school or after school for a little bit extra help.